wake, wake up every day, gotta see this nonsense Well, bitch, I do my thing, I just dip, I'm off this yeah. Bitch, this money drive me crazy, cause I gotta pay my rent But lately I've been grinding, hopefully it don't go to my head yeah. wake, wake up every day, gotta see this nonsense Well, bitch, I do my thing, I just dip, I'm off this yeah. Bitch, this money drive me crazy, cause I gotta pay my rent but lately I've been grinding, hopefully it don't go to my head Bitch, I'm smoking till I'm sick, and I'm grinding till I'm rich And if I'm going broke, I'm getting richer by that stick Bitch, this money ain't the motive if you never hit a lick Cause I hate it being broke, I also hate it being rich Boy, your life on different levels, I'm not a thug, bitch, I'm a rebel Bitch, my drum might make you tremble, I remember last September Okay, last pose. Do it. Do it. The best over the back. Then. Oh, shit. I'm not doing that again, right? Come on. Just do it once. Just stay there. You're, three minutes. That's all I'm going right. to ask of you. Okay. Right. One of the reasons I love yoga is because I learned how to do it in hotel rooms. And I made use of... You're a little too close for me to stretch you, but... Okay. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. Pull your butt up as far to me as you can. There you go. Now I'm going to spank you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, I really, I would really like to have pictures with the other actors. That's what I really would like, because um, I don't want to go bug them. You know what I mean? But I yeah, would like you, to. Did you meet uh, Stephen, our stills photographer? Oh yeah, he worked on the first one. You know. That's right. Yeah, I yeah. haven't seen him a long time. Well, uh, he should be able to grab some candidates, which is probably what you want. You want him to look more natural, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I'll mention it to him as well. That when there's a moment, just to. Uh, yeah, he'll come grab you and have to shoot a few. I mean, that would be really, good. that would really be pleasing. Yeah, absolutely. Now you're here today. Are you? I don't think I'm here after today. Um, oh well, no, that's not true. They need, they're, they're having me come in on Saturday for the visual effects mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Well, well, I think we're covering that as well. Mm -hmm. So that okay. might be some good opportunity, and your eye will probably be very good. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Somebody just said, "Don't drink coffee." All right, well, good. Well, just want to let you know we were here. We'll be around, and if we get on and your it's, nerves, and it's Steve. Tell us the back. I'm sorry. We're the same height, so people are. <laughs> and, uh, and of course, you know Stephen from the first film. Mm -hmm. So that's our little group. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm really glad you came by. Thank well, you. Yeah, We're going to hit the gym. You. We're going to hit the gym, and I'm going to see if they have a floor there because I brought my tap shoes. Are you going to the one that's in the back there? I think the stunt one. Feeling a little sad. Yeah. And you know, you just you just look at how, how it all turned out. And I'm glad to be here. I'm gonna glad they I'm really glad Quinn's here. I'm really happy, but I walked up to Harrison when we got here. He actually even three inches away from him didn't know it was me. Like I felt it so don't please don't worry about me. No, no, no. You're not like worried I about me, are you? Uh, it's not me. I just no. I met you on stay on set this morning. It was like bang, bang, bang. I finished. We were there, and I felt I had to come to talk to you. Nobody said nothing to me. Just I felt that it, it was too fast. Oh. And it happened too fast, and I, I was like, she, she, no. Movie making is a is a art form. It's it's weird what you do sometimes. 
oh, what yeah. that requires, and for me, that your your presence it's comfort me. I apologize a bit selfish as a director. No, that's okay. Game, that's all right. It makes sense for me that you're there. It makes sense that sometimes you will spend a lot of time maybe in your trailer waiting, doing nothing. But it's like it's it's just to, to see that. Do you, do you know what I'm later, doing today? Because I really don't. It's like in show business, when things move into the ego zone, then all bets are off and everybody's dicks are swinging and everybody's got to be the big powerful guy and the hierarchy takes over and people forget to think in human terms because they have their bottom line. And I, and I understand all of that. But I don't like to be on, on, the, uh, on the side of, of being um, unappreciated and unwanted. It's it's nothing to do with you. It's nothing to do with the movie. It's nothing to do. It's just sort of looking at the the circumstances of my career. Like I walked up to Harrison this morning. I saw him get out of his car, and I walked up to him. I actually walked up to him this close. I was this close to him, and he didn't actually know who I was. And and I and I went, and he says, "What are you doing here?" And I said, "I'm working here." And then and, and then he said, "What do you do?" And then I went, "Harry, it's me, Sean." So I, I, have a, I, I don't have as much tolerance for disappointment as I used to and because I kept on trying to go back to the drawing board and go, okay, um, what can I do here to, to write this boat, you know, to get balance back? I, just didn't, I didn't have anywhere to sit. And so, and then they, it seemed that they didn't need me and I thought, okay. And then no, I no, went no. to go get some coffee and then I thought, well, I could go so stand make, on I'll set, make, but I'll, I don't want to go. I'll make a deal with you. I, my feeling right now is that we will work with uh, Rachel tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, today, you are. I will put a chair beside me. You are always welcome to mm -hmm. come to sit and. That would be think. great. If you're very welcome, mm -hmm. honestly, you know, I'll be focused. I'll be like an artistic uh, in front of yeah. the screen. But yeah. I, at me, I will. If you you want to come, and uh, I think that is going to be more tomorrow, and that's what I think. Mm -hmm. I think that would be great, and. I want to go by the visual effects place and see Quinn for a second because I want to see where he is. Because I haven't seen him um, at work yet. I saw him yesterday and it was so nice to see him. He's so happy. Okay, He's so good. happy. No, I'm, I'm. He's a quiet boy too. But me, what I, I felt is I, I was very happy that he presented himself because you know, I, I thought it was, it was uh, genuine and, and uh, very sweet of him. And uh, we had a nice conversation. That, after that time I, I met him, he was it sent, seemed very busy and mm -hmm. working, so, and he good spirits. So. Yeah, but, he's a really good handy person to have around. He's a really great son, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of him. So, yeah, and my older boy, I'm really proud of too. He's 21, and um, I always used to say to Quinn and Rio that um, that I lacked good self-preservation skills, and I know I also lacked good filters. But then I never had a career that ever taught me that because I had success pretty early on, you know, and I never had that kind of like, shh, shh, be careful, be careful. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't like that. I was, I was busy being an emoting actress in front of, you know, and, and that was what I did. So, um, so it's not practical for me to think that I can walk in and be cagey and politically correct and like, like, like the best I can do is say nothing and back away slowly. At some point, the door was shut and I could never open it again. And it, and it worked, that's how it worked out. You know, that's just how it worked out for me. And it's kind of sad, but you know, that's what happened. And I have a really great life because I have my voice and I have my health and I have that, I, a lot of people really care about me. And, and the audience actually really, really loves me too. I mean, if someone actually made a Sean Young movie where I was in it and had a really big part, I think it would do really well, but that hasn't happened. So are you healing? Um, the best way to heal is to be able to do what you do and, and be around people who want you to do it. There's That's the best healing that you can do. Otherwise, you, you got to go lick your wounds by yourself and turn your attention to something that you can do, that you do have control over, that you can put your positive energy in and try to keep your, your, your positive energy or your focus you know, as positive as you can under difficult circumstances, you know? You're not worried about me, are you? 
Don't, Sean, don't I'm worried worry. about. I'm, I'm a director. Yeah. I'm just worried about yeah. actors all the time. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, don't worry just, about it. Just, me. Just, I'm just, very, very happy to be here. Okay. And of course, I would like more to do, but I it's know. okay. It's I okay. Know. You told me that. I knew that. Quinn told me he read the whole script yeah. for me and then told me the story. Yeah. And for some reason, I've had a very unusual, um, tumultuous uh, circumstances that keep kind of you know, repeating themselves. And there was really a period of time where I'm like, am I creating this? Is this what I'm doing? Like, you know, do I, is my attitude really that bad? And I don't think I have a bad attitude. Of your face and uh, the, acting, the acting process, I think we do it here Saturday. And there, there's something else to do. Yeah, right. thank you. Okay, no, thank and you. please don't worry about me. You know what I mean? That's, I will you know what, but don't, that's, that's don't. Yeah, but don't, because uh, I'm ha I'm very happy to be here. All right. You know. I mean, I don't feel bad about myself because I didn't read the script. Should I? Should I feel terrible? No. I mean, it's like, it's like if I'd had more than two lines, I would have. You know. I mean, I only say two things, so it's not like I can't figure that out. I would have studied it. And um, what what do I need to read the script for? You know. I mean, I say two things in this, and then they blow my head off. I'd rather just go see the movie, you know? Gosh, I hope I didn't, like, freak him out by not reading the script. <laughs> Oops. It turns out, as usual, I was right. <laughs> I was like, who's that? There's a full one there. I'm only here for two days. You think you could organize this so that I could get a little support for the photos? Yeah, I mean... So they, they recognized that they fucked up. And then I was concerned that then it would be like this big suck up all the air, you know, or I wouldn't really get... And it's just... A, I wouldn't really get any photos anyway because there wouldn't be time to sort of do it when it really should have taken place yesterday. So they just missed it. That's all. Mm -hmm. They just missed it and it's gone and I have to accept it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. Well, I think the thing is... is Okay, Lauren? Copy. I just saw her get drove in a set, too, though. I just saw her in a, in a golf cart being driven to set. Yeah. I don't know if that's relevant. Bye. Hey. No, I'll blow the other one. I'll blow the other one. I won't. I'll blow the other one. I won't. Boom. Shakalaka. Oh, damn. I was trying to do this quick zoom on you and I didn't get it. Well, I think I'm going to turn this off. All right. I was going to call you last night. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> he did. I had my phone and, and uh, when well, I... Well, and I lost my fucking phone and I'm so upset. I just feel really, I really feel pissed off that they didn't look out for me and get the pictures with the other actors, and I don't even understand why they made really thought of that, but I guess it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna like, I guess in a sense it sounds crude, but I just like, not care. <laughs> you know, I, I, well, I, don't really I know, care. but that's what I did do because it was like, so tough on me for so many years. I just stopped caring, you know. I know so, it's political, but like, yeah, who gives a fuck? So I'm very happy that you have that attitude, and I think that's a really positive attitude. I'm really glad, considering that I had such a negative experience. Often that you've had a positive experience. That, that shows good. Crazy, that go, shows good skills as a mom. Because you're sacrificing. You need me, right? Yeah. A good, a good, a, a, a good, you know, you know, a good platform. To, you don't even need to pronounce it. <laughs> well, do you have to go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. For my exit? Uh oh, hold on. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> for my exit? Huh? For my exit, what? <laughs> 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 Are you kidding me? Let her come get me. She's coming. Rachel's coming. Yeah, we get scanned. There's a Rachel character. 
Quite a bit there, it was quite a good small party, which is just in the costume. No, we uh, just trained the slide just comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to read a sandwich? Yeah. Well, I guess that's the explosions have to go to there. Okay, yeah. Tomo, no, please stand over there while everybody's busy working when my moment has passed. He said, no thanks. I'm not even getting that moment, by the way. I mean, I got the one shot with Harrison, mm -hmm. and that's what they have, and that's it. And I guess that's better than nothing, but I just. I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go back to the hotel and be like, okay. My day went very well because all day long, all anybody did was tell me what a great guy Quinn was and what a great job I had done as his mother and how happy they're or to have them and how the whole unit loves them. So that was a really nice, that was really nice for me. Joe Waymire, but it's, it's the guy who did Inception. Yep. He said to me, oh, I have a real affection for Quinn. You know, I'm gonna, he's, he's gonna go on other jobs with me. and I'm having a little bit of separation anxiety from, it, from going, knowing I have to, to go. And you know where I'm having separation anxiety from? <laughs> My cat. My cat, yeah, well, don't worry, your cat's safe, so. Like, and when you come back, you'll come back to Austin, so, yeah. Oh. Anything you want to say? It brings out the soft side of me. Ah. The soft side. So, how was it working? Well, I was what Bray working with you. It was a little like it was a little like I did not understand before I got here that I was going to be doing so little. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't actually going to be. I, I thought they were somehow going to be. I didn't realize it. I didn't realize. Did. It. Yeah. Because they said read a double. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Do you, do you want to take some time to explain kind of what you mm -hmm. are? So basically. Pretext, preface is you left with Deckard and then you guys went off. I was able to get pregnant. Yeah. Because I was pregnant. a special model, no end date. Nexus 8. Uh huh, Nexus 7. Oh, yeah, the Nexus mm -hmm. 8 are the new ones. Mm -hmm. And then she, and then you had, you gave birth to a daughter, but you died in childbirth. And then your daughter is like very special, but the whole point is like, K. Is Sylvia my, my daughter? No. K thinks he's he she has a he Who's he, K again? Right. Uh huh. You're you I have thought he a, said Joe last night. He's just oh K because he's got he's got a number. And now they he says Joe was his name. Last night he said he said that's not a name, that's a serial number and he goes, Joe. You don't wanna know who that is. It's Joe. I mean uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's K four nine two eight. I think he's a clone. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, but the whole time he thinks that he's your son. Oh. But then he finds out, he finds out that. So this it's not a daughter a she has. It is a yeah. daughter. Okay. But he doesn't know, he just knows another child. And then he finds her. And then he finds Bill. And then 
he takes Bill to her. And then he gets stabbed and Nick and dies. Who's, who's Bill? Everyone dies. Deckard. Deckard is Bill. So he gets they reunited with his daughter? For security purposes. Yeah. So he gets reunited with his daughter? Rachel's daughter? Oh. And who's my daughter? Anna? No. No. She is sex projection. She's like the, um, I guess you could say the... Pleasure. Your basic pleasure model. You know what? I probably wouldn't have been as big a bitch if I realized and understood psychologically that not much was going to be expected of me. Like, thoroughbred nothing. There was nothing to be thoroughbred all about. The, I, you did, know, like, I did all your hard work. Yeah, like, everybody does all the work. So there yes, wasn't much left for me to do. And I actually didn't comprehend. I thought I was going to be on the boards at some point. I didn't realize that I was not ever going to be in front of, like, where everybody else was. I thought they would bring the two images together. Mm -hmm. I did not really understand that I was never going to be a part of that. So yeah. I was just there to watch. Basically, what they're doing is you know why they put white makeup on you? It's because they're going to put my skin over your white face. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to maybe go back to the hotel. I know we don't have to go back, but we could drop some of this stuff off and then figure out what we want to do. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, well, let's get the hell out of here and let's go All check right. out Budapest. That is a wrap. That is a wrap. Give me a slap. Gracias. Um, I, I was just thinking that um, about what you said, which is, you know, blaming others. And I, I don't mean to blame others. I really don't. You know, I really don't. And, and once you lose your good reputation, you can't get it back, basically. Guard your reputation. You know, and I didn't guard my reputation. I was reckless. And, uh, and I paid the price for it. So the price has been paid, and now it's like, well, that's what it is.